Maybe maybe Kabi Chandraswamy would like to speak first. Uh, good. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? You want to hear, you know, this Krishna pastimes and why Krishna came and why he didn't come again? Or what? <laughs> Who's translating? Me, it's a pretty good crowd there, huh? So you've been having kirtan already? Yes, already kirtan, already Abhishek. Are the twins there? <laughs> yes, yes. They are crying. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where is the other see one? one? We have many kids here. Yeah. Mother? Yeah. Can you see? Om Ajnana Timiranda Sya Gananjana Shalakaya Chak Sura Militanya Natasma Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namini Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavari Pashyacha Desa Pashyacha Desa Pashyacha Desa Pashyacha so thank all the people that are there, all the devotees. And please remember that tomorrow is equally, if not more important for us. Because without Prabhupada, we wouldn't. I mean, maybe you Nepalis, you know something about Janmashtami, but you didn't wouldn't really know very much about Krishna. Okay. Doesn't sound like we're getting any translation. Okay. Oh, you, you see, I got it. Yes, yes, we are ready. So Prabhupada came and taught the whole world about Krishna. And now there's, you know, a um, serious John Mastami devotional festival all over the world. Although this year there's no big ones. <laughs> Because of this um, Corona, Corona Sura. But before Krishna appeared, you know, things were pretty bad under Kamsa's rule. And the Brahmins weren't, they couldn't light the sacrificial fires. And, you know, people were so many it was terrible for everybody so when krishna appeared all of a sudden everything became nice the atmosphere the fire started up automatically all kinds of things 
ต่หลังจากที่กระชาทรงปรากฏใช่ไหมคะก็ทุกอย่างก็ดีขึ้นทางบรรยากาศทุกอย่างก็ธรรมชาติทุกอย่างก็ดีขึ้น But so Krishna, he appeared. He didn't take birth. We say Janma. Janma means birth, but Krishna didn't take birth. Uh, ตอนนี้พระกิษณาทรงมาปรากฏใช่ไหมคะแต่กิษณาเนี่ยทรงไม่ได้เกิดแบบที่เราเข้าใจกันถึงแม้คำว่าจันมาจันมาเนี่ยมันจะแปลว่าเกิด Krishna just appears whenever he wants to, wherever he wants to. กิษณาเนี่ยทรงปรากฏเอ่อทุกเอ่อเมื่อใดก็แล้วแต่ที่พระองค์เนี่ยทรงต้องการ Sometimes it seems like he takes birth. Many times he just appears. หลายครั้งนะคะที่พระองค์เนี่ยทรงปรากฏเมื่อใดก็แล้วแต่ที่พระองค์ทรงปรารถนาที่จะปรากฏ Like uh, in Shringa Day, he just was there all of a sudden. เหมือนกับตอนที่ตอนเรื่องราวของนรสิงห์อาเดบก็เหมือนกันนะคะราหะมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ย so really Krishna never has a mother and father but because devotees love Krishna so much they want to serve him in that way he becomes a child takes birth appears to take birth ความจริงกิชาเนี่ยเอ่อไม่จําเป็นต้องมีเอ่อบิดามารดาด้วยใช่ไหมคะแต่ว่าในบางครั้งเนี่ยพระองค์ทรงมาเพื่อเพื่อที่จะแสดงลีลาครับพระองค์ก็จะเอ่อมีบิดามารดาด้วย But this Krishna that's the Swayam Rup that's the original Krishna is to Swayam is the original they all every other incarnation is coming with from Krishna and when Krishna appears all the other incarnations are within Krishna ความจริงนะคะรูปลักษณ์เดิมแท้เนี่ยก็ก็คือกฤษณาใช่ไหมคะรูปลักษณ์อื่นเนี่ยรูปลักษณ์เดิมแท้ของพระองค์ก็คือรูปลักษณ์ของพระกิษณะสองก่อน So Krishna killed so many demons and but that's not his real work that's not ultimate reason for coming กฤษณาเนี่ยทรงสังหารมาหลายหลายตัวเลยใช่ไหมคะอันนั้นด้วยพระด้วยรูปฟองที่เป็นดั้งเดิมของพระองค์ He says p r i t a n a y a s a d u n a m I come to help the sadhus and to annihilate the bad people the demons จุดมั่งหมายที่พระองค์ทรงลงมาเนี่ยก็คือเพื่อที่จะปกป้องสาวกและบาทำลายมัน But by of course when he kills the demons that's pleasing to the devotees แต่มากกว่าการฆ่าสังหารมารก็คือการที่พระองค์เนี่ยจะทรงให้ความเรื่องปฏิสุทธิ์กับสาวก But the real thing is to show us you know the spiritual world and hopefully we'll become attracted to want to go there serve Krishna in, the, in that way แต่ว่าสิ่งสําคัญก็คือเพื่อที่จะให้เราเนี่ยเห็นถึงโลกทิพย์แล้วก็เข้าใจนะคะเพื่อที่จะให้เราเนี่ยพูดพูดที่สำนึกที่เป็นทิพย์ Krishna didn't have to come to the material world to get some sense gratification or some nice scenery or anything. He brought his Goloka with him. Krishna didn't come to the material world to get some sense gratification or some nice scenery or anything. He brought his Goloka with him. Krishna didn't come to the material world to get some sense gratification or some nice scenery or anything. He brought his Goloka with him. Krishna didn't come to the material world to get some sense gratification or some nice scenery or anything. He brought his Goloka with him. Krishna didn't come to the material world to get some sense gratification or some nice scenery or anything. You're not just some powerful figure that, you know, creates and destroys. And he is completely lovable by everyone. พระองค์เนี่ยทรงมีบุคลิกภาพที่เป็นที่น่าดึงดูดมากใช่ไหมคะมีเสน่ห์มากซึ่งใครพบใครเห็นแล้วก็จะตกหลุมรักพระองค์ด้วยกันทั้งนั้น But and the Vrajasi, how they love him, that's what he likes the best. They're not. You know, honor, awe, and reverence. I just love him because he's so wonderful. So he wanted us to see that, so he 
came and exhibited all this Braj Leelas and had it all recorded. Now, uh, so history of Krishna's activities. Uh, and we get attracted. We think, well, then, you know, I'd like to be there. Whatever we'd like to be, a cow or a bird or whatever. Because in, in Krishna's uh, in, in the spiritual world, everybody is fully conscious and everyone loves Krishna and everyone's completely happy in, in their relationship with Krishna. So that's what we're striving for here is to make Krishna appear obviously in our hearts and to, you know, chant the holy name everywhere so everybody can see Krishna and to give the books about Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita, or the Krishna, everywhere, so that everybody can see Krishna, everybody can associate with Krishna. So, um, Srila Prabhupada was so much wanted us to know about Krishna that he wrote the Krishna book very early in his when he was in America. So it's a very, very important book. When when he first started writing it, nobody really knew. They heard a little bit, probably talk about Krishna. They knew that chanting Hare Krishna very much. They didn't know very much about Krishna. There weren't even very many pictures in those days. So Prabhupada, he, he wrote out one of the pastimes, I don't know which one, he sent it to Jadarani Hardest and told her, you paint, can you paint this? At the same time, he was dictating the book, but nobody, then he wrote out more pastimes and sent them to the different artists. And they were asking so many questions and Prabhupada was telling him exactly how to paint Krishna and paint the Vrindavan and paint the demons and everybody, the demigods. <laughs> Uh, I think it was Jadarani, but she asked Prabhupada, how did, how did they wear the dhoti in the Goloka? And Prabhupada said, bring me one dhoti. And he put it on all folded, all fancy and said like this. So there's so many letters and Prabhupada was guiding them. They all said, Prabhupada, we're not even very good artists. We're very new artists. We were very young. And, and besides that, we don't know anything about Krishna. How can we paint all this? 
แสดงสาวคนที่สาววาใช่ไหมคะบอกเสียงเพราะมากครับพอดีพวกเราเนี่ยไม่ค่อยรู้เกี่ยวกับเวชนามากเลยแล้วพวกเราก็เป็นนักวาดนักวาดมุนใหม่ด้วยแล้วพวกเราจะวาดได้ดีขนาดนี้ Prophet said just chant Hare Krishna the whole time you're painting and it'll be fine เดี๋ยวพวกก็จะแนะนำบอกว่าเธอแค่สวด Hare Krishna ไปแล้วก็รูปภาพเนี่ยจะออกมาดีเอง So they were very, very sincere, and they just chanted and chanted and chanted and painted. And Shri Prabhupada considered those paintings are very, very important for the Krishna group. In fact, he had the book ready. But he waited till all the paintings were ready. And the first volume had 64 paintings, one for every chapter. So. Um, you know, like that, and then he didn't have any money to print the book. And George Harrison, the very famous Beatle, you know, he was very friendly with Prabhupada in the movement. And Prabhupada, you know, had always told the devotees, "Don't ask him for money because, you know, rich people like that, they're always getting everybody asking for money." So, then he, one day he asked Shamasundar, "Ask George Harrison." To give the money to print this Krishna book. And he was thinking, "Oh, Prabhupada, you know, he he might get mad at us." And Prabhupada said, "No, don't worry. Just ask him." So he went to his house, and he was finally he asked him. And he was thinking maybe he he was upset because he didn't answer right away. And all of a sudden, there was a big lightning, you know, and thunder <laughs> hit the house, and all the electricity, all the lights, it became completely dark. So. For a few minutes, it was completely dark. So when the lights came back, he saw a big, big smile, and he said, "Well, what can I say?" You know, with it, <laughs> he took it as a message from Krishna, and therefore we have the Krishna book. <laughs> And it's such a wonderful book, Prabhupada wrote in such a way that it has all the stories of Krishna and all the philosophy all just mixed in together. And many times, uh, 
devotees found Prabhupada actually just reading that book. He liked it so much. He said, I want to see what Krishna has written. I saw when I was living in Los Angeles and Prabhupada was there. He would go in the afternoon in the garden and uh, sometimes only with his servant. So we could look down from the second floor. And he would just have the servant read Krishna book to him. Uh, one time I happened to be in the garden and that was all Prabhupada was just someone was reading Krishna book and all the devotees were there, not all, but many devotees and Prabhupada was just listening and he was so happy reading, hearing that Krishna book. That night they were reading about Dwivita Gorilla. <laughs> Prabhupada was laughing, he liked it so much. So if you want to have association with Prabhupada, very intimate association. If you want to have intimate association with Krishna and Nanda Maharaj and Radharani and all the coward boys and all the gopis, then read the Krishna book. And since Ram Lakshman Prabhu, you know, did all the work, translating, arranging, publishing, everything, whenever you read the Krishna book in, in Thai language, and Ram Lakshman gets so much benefit. So you can learn everything you need to know about Krishna and the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. Okay, thank you very much. I know we all want to hear from BBBB Mishinga Maharaj. So I will leave you now. I mean, I will stop talking. I'm going to listen. Thank you, Maharaj. 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 I'm happy to hear you. I don't mind if you keep talking. <laughs> Anyway, since you asked Maybe me like you, I've been listening to myself so much every day. I'd like to hear from others. Mancha kaupa terubhyas cha kripa sindhu bhai vacha pati tanam pavani vyo vaishna vivyo namo namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadara Sri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hearing Kavi Chandra Swami speak about the Krishna book I remember how Prabhupada describes there in the Krishna book how this book is beneficial for three three kinds of people. First of all, it benefits the, the fully enlightened self-realized soul. They will take great pleasure in hearing topics of Krishna. <laughs> Krishna 
The second kind of person are, are those who are trying to become perfect, who are endeavoring for self-realization. They will also then ordinary people who are just interested in mundane novels, they will also find pleasure in reading Krishna book because in the Krishna book there's love stories, there's war stories, there's the crime stories. So every kind of story is there in the Krishna book. We want to understand why Krishna comes to this world. Krishna already has the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, everything is full of bliss and knowledge eternally. Why would he come to this place? Queen Kunti says that one reason he, may come, he came here was to relieve the earth of the burden because so many kings were there, so many kshatriyas were burdening, burdening the earth planet. So Krishna has to come to relieve the earth of the burden. Or she said another reason he could have come was because he wants to give pleasure to the Yadu dynasty, take birth in the Yadu dynasty and be with his devotees like Vasudev Paki who wanted to have him as their son. But then she said, we think he could have also come just to rejuvenate the process of hearing and chanting so everyone can remember all the pastimes of the Lord which he performed when he came here. Yeah, we, we like to sing songs about Krishna. There's so many wonderful songs have been composed describing all the pastimes of Krishna. He has, he has so many wonderful names describing these different pastimes and describing his relationships with his different devotees. And so, so many artists, Kavi Chandra Swami was describing our BBT artists, and even before the BBT, so many other artists have all drawn pictures illustrating the pastimes of Krishna. Devotees like to perform dances. I know tonight at Phuket, at the temple at Phuket, the devotees have cultural performances. And maybe some of these dances will be portraying some of the pastimes of Krishna, Krishna holding up the Govardhan hill, or Krishna, Mother Yashoda churning the butter to give nice yogurt to Krishna. So devotees take pleasure 
in hearing about Krishna and remembering all of his wonderful activities and pastimes. So today we're celebrating Krishna's appearance in this world. Krishna doesn't take birth the way we take birth. Krishna just appears in this world. Just like the sun appears in the morning, we see the sun, and we see the sun and rises in the east and it moves over the head and sets in the west. We see the same way Krishna appears in this world. He performs his pastimes and then he disappears. But he doesn't take birth and he doesn't die. Just like the sun. It appears and then disappears. The sun doesn't die. It's just not visible. The same way Krishna is not visible. For some time he's visible, then he's not visible. So Krishna never takes birth. How does he appear? This, the scriptures describe to us that Krishna appeared in the mind of Vasudev. Vasudev was in the prison house of Kamsa. He was a prisoner and Krishna appeared in his mind. And then from the mind of Vasudev, he was transferred into the mind of Devaki. And from the mind of Devaki, he entered into the womb of Devaki. <laughs> So Krishna appears the eighth child of Vasudev and Devaki, but at the same time in Goku, Nanda and Yashoda were there and Yashoda was also pregnant and she's going to have a baby. Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj for a long time they had no child but then they, they, they remembered one vow they had not performed they had not done the, the Dwadasi Vrat so they performed some tapasya for one year observing Dwadasi Vrat. And then the, the a Brahmacharini, an elderly lady who had never married, she came there and she gave blessings to Nanda to Nandarani, Mother the Mother Yashoda, the wife of Nanda Maharaj, and she blessed her that very soon you're going to have a child. And Nanda Maharaj, then he had a dream, and in his dream he saw a boy, a young boy, young baby boy, a blue colored boy, and then he saw also a young girl who was a golden color. <laughs> Uh, 
So this young boy and young girl, they entered into the womb of Yashoda. In this way, Mother Yashoda was impregnated and then she gave birth at the same time Vasudev and Devaki had Lord Krishna as their child. At the same time, Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj, their child was also delivered. Yeah, they both gave birth at midnight, the middle of the night. And it was on a very, a very auspicious.